For all you viewers out there who aren't Yankee fans and are sick of hearing me talk about them, your dream came true. Um, the season is over. What is up, proprietor? Steve Sakonics from Proprietor Lifestyle bringing you the 19th official episode of the Proprietor Lifestyle. Yankees tied the series up last night 2-2. Um, hell of a fucking effort coming back 4 nothing in the 7th. But that's what New Yorkers fucking do. We don't quit. We keep fucking battling. When we get punched in the fucking mouth, we get up and punch them in the fucking mouth. You know, we don't take shit from anybody, especially people from fucking Houston. No offense to Houston, but fuck the Astros right now. So I'm going to be trying to condensing uh, this vlog web series a little bit more to around 4, 5, maybe even 6 minutes because nobody wants to watch a long ass vlog. Hell of a fucking season. Nobody expected the Yankees to even be in the playoffs, let alone one game away from the World Series. Um, some people were saying during the game, oh, it was a hell of a season. Nobody expected us to be here and everything during the game that they were playing. Um, I think that's such a loser's mentality just to be like, oh, well, if they lose this game, then, it, you know, it's all good. Like, it's okay to say shit like that after the game and kind of reflect and be rational after the game. But during it, it's like, root for your fucking team. Like, believe in your team. It was four runs. They, they could have came back. It's not like it was impossible. The timetable that the front office and the organization had for this team definitely wasn't ALCS this year. It was probably be relevant this year, make the playoffs next year, make a deep run like this year, maybe in two years. And they did it, um, I would say, at least two years ahead of schedules. I think it was definitely a step in the right direction this year. And this team is going to be really, really good going forward, and it's going to be exciting. So speaking of timetables and schedules and all that, I found a new project management tool. It's called Asana, um, or Asanya, depending on if you're Spanish or not. I was using Bitrix24, like I said in a previous video, and honestly, it was just really complicated. I felt like it focused a lot on the CRM, and I wasn't using a CRM. I, I just needed something to help me see my projects that I was working on for proprietor, see what's due when, and just be organized. And Asanya is really, really good so far. It has two options. So some people like the visual board where you can see, okay, here's one column. This is in progress. This is... Uh, I have to start this column is it's done this column is you know pending review or something like that I like the list better I just like the list of what I have to do by when I think it's just a lot easier and I mean I'm not in fucking kindergarten so I don't really need this like arts and crafts like oh let me drag this over here and just like click check and that's it it's like my timetable for releasing these hats on the website was off by probably a month if we're being honest and it was because I wasn't organized and I got caught up in a couple things, yes, but it's no excuse and I should have had this shit up way before it actually went up. But I am working on so many different things and this Asana shit, or Asanya, I'm still not sure I should have looked this shit up before. I was just going to say Asana. This Asana shit really helps me going forward. The one thing is I don't know if they notify you, like send you notifications on your phone because I downloaded the app if you have something due and it's the day of or it's the day before. I have to look into it, but that's going to be a really key feature and kind of being held accountable because you can put all these dates and have all these goals and aspirations. But if you're not being held accountable for it and you don't even know that you're missing these goals and dates unless you go on and look at it, it kind of defeats the whole purpose. So I definitely need to look into the notifications and um, probably going to talk more about Asana going forward. Uh, so that about does it for the 19th episode of The Proprietor Lifestyle. Next week, I am going to talk about the social media hiatus that I took it's over and I learned a fucking lot from it and I'm really excited to talk about it. So that's going to be on the 20th episode next week's episode. So until then, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to our newsletter. Go cop a hat, links in the bio. And until next time, guys, peace. Passion.